I'm playing Hobby and several other roles. Um, I'm Rhiannon, I'm playing Gail and several other roles. I'm Andy, I'm playing Salty and <laughs> several, several other roles. I'm Ashley, I'm the director, so they go to interview. I just want to say um, hello and welcome. We're going to our performance. Uh, we're performing Teachers by John Godber. The play follows the narrative of three students, Salty, Gail and Hobby, in their final year of compulsory education. Our practitioner, or the person who directed the play and wrote the play, is John Gobler. So we had to use a lot of his techniques in our performance. Those of you who have um, volunteered to kindly fill in the questionnaires, you will please note that Gobler's techniques include overemphasis, heightened characteristics, big gestures, very fast-paced action, on-stage costume changes, and the biggest aspect of the performance is to make you laugh. It is a comedy, um, but it also is to make you emphasise the characters in different places. So, without further ado, this is Teachers. Oh, you 
to do is use imagination. There's only three of us. We're not playing different characters. And narrators! And narrators. We'll have to concentrate. Shut up. To concentrate. Title! Oh shit, yeah. It's called cool. Teachers. <laughs>
part in the chorus. And although Mrs. Perry wasn't happy that I wanted the role of coach, she said I would certainly enjoy my time here in Tita Blue. No. 
She might be, but I'm not. Sit! Are you married? Uh, no, not married. <laughs> Sir! Is this school for divvies? Why? Well, because when we got home, we saw the posh kids from St George's and they asked us if we can add up and they asked us if we've got any table tennis homework. Sit! All the kids that go to their school are snobs and their dads drive big cars and they call us divvies.
September and have drama club in the main hall after 4 o'clock. Salty began probably were regulars and we did all sorts of work. But that didn't need approval of Doug, the caretaker. Come on, Nico, let's have you. It's our five o'clock, you lot have given up goodwill. Just five more minutes, Doug. I can't, Mr. Nixon. I've got to get this floor buffered. Five a size and it's night, and I've got the mobile super night class, and someone's got crackers in the six form box. Just a few more minutes. Where will I be if I gave all the staff a few more minutes? You've been such an ogre. I'm asking you to leave, that's all. Oh, it's the manner of it. Look, you don't get paid for this. Get yourself a bone. I'll be able to get bastard out of his office. You should have a proper room for this drama thing. Do it in the old disgrace. You can tell me that. With any more sort of space, <laughs> I'd happily move there. It's not even worth bloody doing. I've got a main hall of that it. If you ask me, I should take that bloody timetable. It's doing no work, make as much noise as they bloody like. It's a waste of the bloody educational authority's money, if you ask me. Could you know those tall folks sitting on swords? That's swearing! Nobody swears to me, I'll get paid to be bloody sworn at. You ain't too fast for this about this. Thursday. Remember the night. Start from it. One of my biggest fears that I was teached wrong but get O level. I've been doing the twelfth night for ten weeks now when I heard on the grapevine the actress set text was The Winter's Tale. This was Mr. Bassett put me around on that. He was put me around on a few other things as well. I heard you've had a bit of a run in with Doug. Donuts set the caretakers, Jeff. They do a good job. I guess we're stuck in the same system, kids. Star. Caretakers. How are kids doing St. George's? Fine. You live out that way. No, no, I live down Green Acre Parade. But that's this school's catchment area. Right. So why don't we come to this school? St. George's get kids into boxes. Five or more get five or more O levels. Four get here at four o'clock. It must cost a fortune. I'm making sure my lads have the best possible education. And you can afford it. What about kids like Carol Saunders? Can their parents hate to send them to a good school? No, they can't even count for a school trip. Are you suggesting that I am a mild disadvantage because others are? Wake up, Jeff. Parents have the right to choose and I am choosing. And kids have a right to educate to their potential. You know, as well as I do, parents don't attach a great deal of importance for living this education. It doesn't even ditch their kids. <laughs> when you have a family, what will you want? Will you want them to do drama, say, in an old hall with no facilities and books that are sellotaped together? Or would you prefer that they work in an environment where everything was new and they could have exactly what they wanted? You think about what you really want. But that's not the point. Surely all schools should be the same, have the same cash, cash made readily available to them. You know, as well as I do, the parents really don't have a good thing to this education. Kids that deserve the right to get to their potential. And that is the sort of system we have now. A grade six kid is a grade six potential. That's bullshit and you know it. Examinations are frameworks we fit kids into. Don't talk to me like that, Mr. Nixon. And don't talk to me like that, you bloody fascist. I knew what you were as soon as I saw you. What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Mikado, of course. But about it. Eight years I have been on that society. And then he stormed off. You've had it now, said Maureen Winton, scales of humanities, as she leaped through a copy of the Times Ed. Fast and dangerous. I'll be carefully tapping in. Be careful tapping in. He's done a lot for the school, and there is kids. He can do what he likes. I felt that I was wrong. And that we shouldn't have a fair system. We should let the bright kids get bright. I 
to the less able kids like rhubarb. Put them in the dark and shit on them. <laughs> and the more I looked, I could see the difference between dog piss in Hobby's grandma's garden and the degrees in garden pipes in George's. And the more I looked, the garden parties was exactly what I wanted. White woman was killing me, sapping me, frustrating me, wearing me down. As Christmas approached, I fell into a deep depression. I had 200 home level writings to do, first year reports, and the Christmas carol concert, and I couldn't get the food to teach. Here, Jeff, have you seen the time set? Scale 2 going down at St George's, A level field studies, video equipment, drama studios.